Welcome. Today's video, we're going to talk about aliases in Obsidian. They are a really killer feature, and they're one of the features that I, when I dove back into Obsidian after being on Craft for a while, that I looked at and just was like, whoa, this is awesome. I love it. Uh, before we do that, there are a few ways you can support the channel. Number one is to become a patron, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. You get all my courses for free then. Number two, you can take one of my courses, Skillshare. You find links to them all individually below, or if you just go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, that gives me an affiliate commission when you sign up and you can go find my courses. You might be most interested if you're watching this in the Zettel Casting course, uh, which you can find a link directly to that below. We also stream Fridays, 1 p.m. Pacific, almost every Friday. Uh, you can join Discord. There's a link below. We even have a book club and Martin wants me to plug it, so I'll plug it like in the YouTube video right up front for everybody in addition to the stream. Let's buckle up. Let's look at aliases for Obsidian. All right, so aliases. What are they? So you can see here's my notes right here, and I have a demonstration of what my wife is. My wife's name is Cynthia, so why don't we just go look at that file? So I put her coffee order in here. For those that want to know what my wife likes for coffee, she likes an ice white mocha, no whip, or a hot, or if it's hot, a white mocha coffee misto. So what does an alias let me do though? So the note is called Cynthia, and that's how I'd link to it. It's my wife's name, um, but she's also my only wife, clearly. So that would actually let me do this wife and this will actually link to the same note so then I can use multiple things so another really good note that I use this with recently is smoking and so smoking is going to be synonymous with cigarettes cigarette singular and tobacco those all go together and so when I link that in um, the data detective which is a book I'm reading it let me link that out to, right, there's smoking in here, right, page three. It's just a good, uh, that wasn't necessarily a note for long term, but that was something that I wanted to find all the ideas on later. So I know that on page three, if I'm researching smoking for any other reason, I can go to page three of this book and find it. So then I could link to it that way, right? COVID-19 also has a bunch there too, right? Different spellings of it, lowercase, dashes, COVID just by itself. So they all link together. And that's really what aliases are. So how do we do that? The easiest way to do that, let's just open up a new file, is linked file. So we're gonna use YAML. So I actually have a template that gives me my YAML to start. A few ways to do it. So if I wanted to do an alias, I could come in here. If it's just a singular, I can do alias. That would be an alias. It's just another single word, another one, right? Another one, another alias. So then we get into there's an array format or use like square brackets and stuff, square bracket and do that. I find that more difficult. So and I'm a programmer, so I wouldn't do it. So what you got to do is create a new line, two spaces, dash, two spaces are important. And then you can do the thing, right? So the thing. Now this would alias to that and that. Now this file would be linked to for the word linked and I could link to it from the thing and from that. And really you can do as many as you want here. And it's just been excellent for me even to like solidify a bunch of notes. I had ones with, uh, was it community? I think community building goes into my dashboard community. So I had like a whole bunch in here that, uh, or I have a bunch of notes that are all around community, but they all kind of come back to the same thing. I just really wanted to find different search terms for each one so that I could really go in here. So right, tags urbanization comes in here, right? Community breakdown, another one, city planning, right? So city planning, I think I even have with city planning, city design, city planning are basically the same thing. So when I refer to one, I want to make sure I refer to the other without needing to look at no links later. And this means that in my graph view, all these, all the links to city design or to city planning will link to the same note instead of having you know a couple disparate notes and it possibly missing the uh, the emphasis or the importance that something has. That's it. That is aliases in Obsidian. I love them. I think they're great. They are a killer feature for Obsidian and just a killer feature to help centralize some of your knowledge so that you can normalize your words. One of the things in uh, syntopical reading according to how to read a book is to normalize the language of multiple authors. So one author, again, might call something city planning, the other one might call it city design. And by going through the process using the aliases in here, then you can just normalize that language so that later on you can either use your own term or normalize four or five different um, notes there, four or five different people, what they say, so that you can have just one holistic view of a topic. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know what happened, but honestly, turn off your notifications, hang out with your kids, read books, stuff like that instead. Other ways to support the channel, become a patron, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. 
uh, take one of my courses on Skillshare. Uh, you can find the link to the Zettelcast one below, or if you go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, that'll just take you there with my affiliate link. You'll be good to go. Uh, we stream Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific. We have a book club for Martin, who's watching the stream right now. I'm plugging it again, Martin. I'm going to say it like a whole bunch of times for you. And really for me, join the book club. You find that in Discord, link below. We're reading The Data Detective, which is what we talked about right now. Have a good one.